outside of basketball and with my teammates on the court, communication has been something I always struggle with. Like, <laughs> it's crazy, but like, I'm a, I'm a big dweller. I dwell on things, keep things internally, uh, not talk about shit that bothers me. Um, it's just been part of my, uh, what's the word? I don't know, programming. Like part of just who I've been in my entire life. And it's crazy because being like that <laughs> has hurt me more than anything. <laughs> but yet, uh, for the most part, I'm still kind of like that. You know, I try, you know, now with being married, you know, my wife, you know, it's something I work on uh, with her, you know, being more open and expressing my feelings about certain things opposed to holding them in. But as a child, that's all I knew. And I did that shit a lot. And still to this day, in a lot of situations, I do that. And, you know, the child is to my detriment. Um, you know, family situations and stuff with how, you know, my house, how, how my household that I was raised in was. Um, shit, I was sick because of it. You know, I held so much shit in internally. It physically made me sick. You know, uh, <laughs> as a child, I had the ridiculously high blood pressure. Was always stressed out. Because I never talked about, you know, the issues and, and, and you know, at hand and, and how I felt about, you know, certain things that was going on in life and, and decisions that were being made. A lot of times I felt as though people ain't care about how I felt about shit. You know, my my parents didn't care about how I felt about shit. So why would the outside world care how I felt about shit? So therefore I didn't express how I felt about shit. I'll say all this to say, man, like <laughs> you gotta you gotta talk about how you feel, man. Don't hold it in, man. If you feel a certain way about things, let people know. You know, uh, at the end of the day, it don't really matter how they recept it or, or, or if they're receptive to how you feel. The most important thing is, is getting that shit off your chest, man. Because when you don't, when you hold it in, man, and the only, the only person that's bringing pain to is you. Um, it's a big relief, man, when you, when you get that shit off your chest, man. I, I know firsthand, um, you know, of late, I've been doing it a lot more. It's crazy because people look at me like from the outside looking in, you would you would see me and you would think like, man, EK's he's so outspoken, you know what I'm saying? He say what's on his mind. And to a certain extent I do. Um, but it's, it's not always the case. You know, I can imagine a lot of my teammates thinking that, you know, that same thing about me because I'm always talking saying whatever just you know whatever comes to mind but it's only to a certain extent and it's it's something that i'm you know working on you know because at the end of the day man like i like i said the shit only it only hurts you to keep it bottled up it's not right it's not right god gave us a voice for a reason god gave us emotions for a reason he didn't give them you can give them to us for us just to keep silent and, and hold things deep inside. He gave them to us for, our, for us to express ourselves. So that's really my just, just for the day, man. I wanted to, if anybody else is struggling with that, you know, not voicing their opinions, their feelings about certain things, man. I challenge you today, challenge myself today too, to, to get that shit out, man. Don't uh, don't let anything hindering you from, from letting people know how you feel about certain things, man. Don't hold back.